Here's our DTG, an example of how it works. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to open your files. So you just want to go up the top and hit open. Now we call our files what we sell them as. For example, two lions yeah, on our website is listed as two lions, but then we have a front and a back. So we always call them two lions front, two lions back. If there's a specific color for black tees and white tees, we also put that in the title as well. For example, if the image is mostly black, then it won't work on a black tee. So you have to invert it and make it white tees. So I've already opened my files here, as you can see on the left. Now I've actually chosen four different styles of print. So I've got a graphic, I have a pastel colored graphic, I have just a pastel image again, and then a photo. So for the purpose of this video, we are gonna resize these images. Normally we wouldn't have to, they would be two size, but because we're trying to show four at once, we've just gotta shrink them down a bit. So all you need to do is hold shift and drag Press enter when you're done and then center it on your platen. Repeat the process for all four. Now what we want to do is we want to go up to your print settings, which is up the top here. Not the very top, you can see printers at the top there. It's the middle ones. And hit white background settings. Make sure your printer port selected. Should say Epson Stylus Pro 3880. Your properties, device options. Now there's different print settings. So 1440, 720 optimized is what they recommend for a fast print that still gives you good coverage. 1440 by 1440 is the best, but it does take a little bit longer to print, probably three to four minutes for the four shirts to print, so we always use 1440720 optimized. The rest of the settings should be defaulted to normal and they all run through the software. The only thing you want to check is you want the print direction to be bi-directional, not unidirectional. The only reason you would use unidirectional is if you've got really small text that you want printed, it'll just slow it down and get it way more accurate and won't blur any of the small letters. So once that's done, you just hit OK. OK again, and then back up to your middle section here, and you want this print button, and then you just hit OK, and then we print. All right, so we're going to load our shirts. Now, I've already preloaded three, just to show that you can do all four shirts at once. Now, ideally, we would use these as pocket prints, so we would lay our image kind of here so that it would be on the left-hand chest. These ones, as an example, we're just printing slightly bigger in the middle just to show quality of print and how big you can do. These platens are also ideal for kids' shirts. If you had a big front print, all four would be ideal for printing kids' shirts with a big design. So we're just going to grab our shirts, which are just a 160 GSM white cotton shirt. And all you want to do is lay it flat, tuck in both sides, and then come top to bottom and just tuck them in. You don't want to go too crazy with your tucking in. Now, we have pre-treated these shirts. We just use a uh, standard underbase from Image Armor. It's very cheap, but it just makes the color look that little bit more vibrant and long lasting. Um, the Image Armor that we use has no scorching, so you don't get any yellowing of the shirts, which you can do if you use a cheaper underbase. So once we've loaded our shirts, we just want to push it in and we want to just adjust the laser so that the print head doesn't hit it. So we just hold up until the light goes red. As you can see, it's the perfect height. And then as we press load and it loads up, the light may change because there may be some adjustments, but it just means that the print head won't get hit and the prints will all be level. So once we've done that, on the other side, there's a load button. We just hit load. And then we're ready to start our print.
Okay, so now that these are finished, this took approximately seven minutes and 40 seconds to do all four shirts. And as you can see by the colors, there's still plenty of life in this old girl. She is an absolute workhorse. Colors are vibrant, exactly how we wanted them to print. Nothing's blurry, everything's legible. Colors look good. The only step left now is you just take them off and you put them on the heat press at 165 degrees for 60 seconds. And then they are good to go for heaps and heaps of washes. Show you a full size shirt demonstration on a gray t-shirt. So once again, we have pre-treated it. Now that's four shirts at once to change to two shirts. You just make it too large, grab your image, throw it on your platen. And then it's gonna be the same deal, except to make your machine go from four shirts to two shirts, all you do is you throw on your little cover you grab your shirt and you put it on this way with your neck up this end. Again, tuck them in, same as before. Make sure nothing's hanging over the edges, just tuck it all in. Load her up. And then we just hit print again. Now what this will do is this will print black ink down on a gray shirt. Just to show that you don't, you're not necessarily pigeonholed to white shirts only. Any light colored garment works amazingly with this printer. So your light yellows, your fluoros, your light pinks, your light purples, your light blues, your grays, your whites. They all print really, really well on this machine. It is priced to sell. It's an amazing workhorse. Value for money. You can definitely get a return on your investment if you just had some smart designs in some light colored shirts. All right, so that one's just finished and it only took about three minutes to do on a gray shirt. As you can see here, it's a beautiful crisp black print on a, on a gray t-shirt. It looks awesome, nothing blurred, it's vibrant. This machine really, really is amazing. It was our startup machine and we grew our business using this machine for four years into this big space that we currently have now. Uh, so we're sure that this machine could certainly work for you. First to see, I'm sure we'll buy it. Give me a call if you wanna make a time to come have a look or if you want any more videos. Happy to make them, show you, but you won't be, you won't be upset with your return on investment on this machine. Thanks so much.